everybody. I just want to know. I only need to know if you're there, Patty. Then we can start. Uh, I'm trying to make, uh, okay, okay. I'm gonna say this is, uh, I'm gonna say, Patty is watching, okay. Bring them on camera. Add, add, adding. I see a little bit of you. I see. <laughs> Yay! Oh my God, we did it. <laughs> Can I hear you? Good morning. Can you hear Good me? Good morning. I, I, I want to. Good morning. Well, this was not the fabulous uh, spot I had picked out, but I'm staying very close to the surgery waiting room because I think they called my name and then they disappeared. So, hi, everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I haven't even introduced us yet. This is Monday morning okay. with Merle and Patty. And we've got us in two remote places. Why? Because Patty, tell us, Patty. Because my husband, the drummer, who gets lots of body, places, re body parts replaced when you're a drummer, is in surgery getting another body part replaced. So... I've been here, I've been up since four, we've been here since five, um, specific time, so I, you can see I'm in my finest, <laughs> no makeup, no contact, but I'm here, and because um, we're talking you about men fabulous. and women, we are so different. <laughs> <laughs> well, and right now, let's take a second and say a moment and say our prayers that Kerry's operation is doing really fabulous everybody say, say to yourself yes yes let this be a successful operation okay so we took Thank care of that so patty he's going to be great <laughs> he is great I, I i think he's out of surgery so you know i haven't heard that he isn't great so that would assume he is <laughs> yeah. sounds good to me <laughs> so um let's get to it and we'll, 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 we'll make it short, but we want to talk about our, our topic for today was uh, the difference between men and women. So, yes. and notice that I have said the difference, not uh, what men do best and women do better, not in any competitive way, uh, but just like there are tigers and lions and squirrels and rabbits, there's every kind of being in the world that makes it all interesting and makes it all go together. And in the same way, men and women are different. So with that in mind, Patty, what would you say is a leading difference between men and different men and women? Um, I think we think really differently. I keep trying to move spots, so I don't know what. I'm going to come back here. I think we just absolutely think I, I will say you're well lit, um, so you look good. Okay. You're well so lit. We'll say here. So again, there's been, lots been written about it, from men are from Mars, women are from Venus, to, you know, women, men are hunters, they're single focus, to women are gatherers, we can multi-focus, multitask along the way. Um, and I think where we get the biggest trouble is that we think men are going to think like us and they just don't. And we think it means something if they don't, you know, like if they're not paying attention to our every word, <laughs> which sometimes <laughs> happens or so we think happens. Um, I don't know. What do you think, Merle? <laughs> I think, I think you hit the nose on the head. I, I think, um, I think men and women are different and we expect each other to be the same. I, I remember, I remember when I was first married to Nathan and I, I, I remember thinking he must be mean because he can't be that stupid, <laughs> but he wasn't mean, but he wasn't stupid either. He was a man. Would they just think differently? Women like to talk about various different things. Men, uh, 
it's about sports or art or what their particular interest is, politics maybe, whatever, but not just as a general communication and connection. Women use conversation as connection. Men use it to, to transport information. That's it, you know. So there are my, they are the hunters. They are the hunters. <laughs> we have a thing, Patty and I have a, a, a thing that we do, but we can't do it if we're not together, <laughs> to talk about I the differences. Okay, okay. So <laughs> I hope nobody's around there, Patty, watching you. I don't. I'm in the middle of the hallway. I'm not where I wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I would say there's a way to get in touch with men. If you really, if if they're they're watching the game, whatever it is, they're intent in whatever their activity is, and you cannot go and go into the room and say, "Hi, honey, I want to ask you this." That's because they won't hear you. So you have to go to them and say, "Honey," and shake them on their shoulder, "Honey." And and then wait till they turn their eyes and look at you, straight at you. And if you were the man, you... yes, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I wish I had a mustache. <laughs> she has an itch. Uh, <laughs> to go back to that hunter singer focus. Even if they're doing something that we think is maybe silly, and I know we sound so cliche here, but, you know, they're watching the baseball game. They're watching the hockey game, the football game, the basketball game, whatever. And we come up and talk. They honestly don't see us. They honestly don't see us breathing down their back. They don't see hear us go, honey, 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 until we touch them. And so if, if we were in the same room and you were, I was watching the game, I'd be going, oh, doing whatever man things or <laughs> And then wouldn't hear you at all until you actually grabbed me, got my attention, and then talked. And then I'd probably growl and say, okay, I'll do it at a commercial. <laughs> that's, that's it. And, that's, and doing that is recognizing and honoring the differences between men and women, between uh, different people. Different people have different ways of communicating. And there's nothing wrong with... Uh, yielding to that and using their form of communication to get a point across. It's, it's not that they have to come to you and do what you say. The whole point is how can we as two different human beings connect with each other, talk to each other. And if you come from a point of respect and honoring differences in the same way we honor differences between religion we're working very hard at honoring differences between sexual preferences, between uh, different uh, uh, races. I mean, we're learning to make that difference. And that same difference, uh, if you see a tail, that was my cat. <laughs> and the same differences are between the way sexes communicate. I think it's really important, not just with spouses, but with kids, and with people at work. Oh my goodness, yes. you, you know, we tend to say, we tend to be less tolerant of differences of people at work. We may, we may be more quiet about it, but we're not more tolerant about it. You have a lot of people going by there, don't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. Your little voice echoing across the halls of the hospital. <laughs> So if I'm not my best day, God. tell everyone hello oh, for me. <laughs> um, but we would like to know what if you guys have any good experiences of how you've learned to communicate with the differences in men and women. Again, regardless, like you said, of sexual presence, uh, yeah, sexual preferences. It's, this isn't even about sex. It's just about different brain waves. How do you I guys think, do it? <laughs> yeah. It's about respecting differences. You know, with our little exercise uh, group that we do in the morning that I led today, Patty, because you weren't there. Yes, thank you for <laughs> the group today. We have.
have different kinds of people. They have uh, they have different sexual preferences. They have different sexes. They have different political views, and we come together with first. The first thing is, of course, that we exercise together. That's what brought us together. But what keeps us together is just a, a respect for each other, a willing to listen and care about somebody else's concerns without making a judgment, without telling them what to do, just being there and being supportive. And if, if we can do that in small groups, we can surely do that in our house. We can surely do that at work. <laughs> Um, so somebody's asking if a man leaves you does it mean he doesn't love you or if you give them space do they return to you after a long time I have something to say to that say to that okay um, the first thing is I don't know I, I, if somebody leaves you I would take it as he wants to spend some time without you. Will he come back or not? It won't matter if, in the meantime, starting from this moment forward, that you say, it's not about him, it's about me. What is it that I want to do in my life that I've put off because I've been walking on tippy toes around this guy. Now, listen, it's about me. What is it I want to do? What will make me happy? And work on that. Work on yourself. Make yourself happy. Find those things. And then once you're happy, you won't care if he comes back or not. And when right. you're happy, you will attract Maybe not that guy, but you'll attract somebody else that will be happy and worthy of your happy self. I right. feel strongly about that. You're welcome. Do it. And, and Savannah, come back and tell us. Yes, uh, I'm let, interested us to, yes let us know how, how, how it works for you because yeah. this is something – that can be the beginning of a fabulous new life for you. I'm excited. So uh, I, I think that's a good piece of advice, and you have to go take care of your husband. So I do have to go, even though we've got some kind of breaking up in this. So I'm going to leave you guys all. Um, thank yeah. you. You'll have more yeah. of me. You were prepared of me I'm when I'm not. Um, okay. And I'm going to say, I think it's a good time to leave. Remember, check out pattynegri.com and check out relationshipmiracleworker.com and you can get my book, Cracking the Relationship Code, on uh, Amazon. That's it. And uh, wish Patty and Kerry fabulous good luck. And <laughs> we'll see you next Monday, no matter what's going on. We will be That's here. Always be here. Hospital gear in tow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. See you next Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific time. I am out of here. Bye, Merle. Thanks for mm -hmm. uh, running the this week. Bye. Bye. And bye, everybody. See you next Monday.